Welcome, this is part two of two where I'm going to show you the tools for polygons. So let's put a cube down, left click, drag, select it, polygons. And these are the tools for polygons. In part one, I talked about move through inset. So let's talk about the other ones uh, now. Let's flip top, select the top polygon. And you flip it. You can't see it anymore because we flip to normal. So the more normal is pointing down now. Let's open it up and you can see what I mean. So you select this one and you delete it. There's your top one and you can see it from the bottom because the normal is upside down. So select it, flip it again. You can't see it like this, but you can see it like this again. Dematerialize. Let's first materialize it and there's a materials tab here and you can drag pictures here that have to be a certain size. So I have one right here, drag it in, select it, and while this is selected, apply it. And dematerialize, is you can get rid of it again. Triangulate. Some rendering engines want all geometry to be triangles, and you can do it in two ways. So select and it creates two triangles out of the square. Go back and you can do it centroid way. Oops, select it. Okay. Connect. I already showed you several times, but we'll do it again. Uh, select the top one. You can create holes with uh, connect. It's very handy. Select the bottom one. Use inset. Inset. And while they're still selected, both of them, you connect. And connect basically means it uh, takes the two uh, polygons and connects them and makes a tunnel, or it connects them and makes a bridge. So this made a tunnel, and I'll show you now what these uh, menus mean. Let's go back and let's flip the new polygons. And first of all, if you go like this, these are the new polygons, the things inside the tunnel, the tunnel walls. So let's go back, flip the new polygons and do this again. So the walls are flipped, so you can't see them anymore. The normals pointing out and you can't see them. Keep original polygons. So this is the original polygon, same on the bottom and when you connect now you can't see that you made a tunnel but when you delete this top one again you can see the tunnel was created okay let's go all the way back merge let's uh, triangulate again and when you select two polygons with control click you merge them it tries to create one of them it, uh, it works when the two polygons are adjacent in a flat plane. Extract. Let's go back to the... Let's select the top one and extrude it. Say you want to extract the top box there. So what you do is you polygon, shift alt, select all the polygons you want and extract them. And notice there's delete or not delete the original polygons. Let's try that without delete, so okay. It creates two objects and when you go to objects, there you go. You have uh, the top one and the original big box. go back, select it, and do the same thing again, shift alt, we want them to be in polygons, shift alt, and extract, and this time we delete the original polygons. And when you now go back to objects, there you go, we have two objects, and you have to fill in the bottom with the edge fill. Okay, let's see what else. Polygons. 
flatten okay one thing you can uh, let's do this one and let's rotate it we'll show you one way you do flatten so you have curved surfaces curved uh, polygons here and when you select one and you flatten it it straightens out when you do all of them come on click you get back to the original cube again without the rotation another thing you can do with flatten is with for instance a sphere so let's put a sphere down sphere go to the top view and you can flatten part of the sphere so you can go to polygons shift and select the polygons that you want there's a little bit too many so control and click that one you don't want it you don't want that one you don't want that one you don't want that one click and now you can flatten them and it basically creates a foot for your uh, sphere you can put it down on a flat surface it's good for vases or something like that okay bevel let's go back to the cube and do some beveling cube so if you have a single polygon and you bevel you basically creates round sides like that creates it rounded works better if you do it for the whole cube at once so shift alt and select all of them and now you bevel and it does it for the whole cube so you create a nice rounded cube now if you want to go crazy you go you keep doing it like this you create some weird geometry whoa okay that's the end of part two thanks for watching you can watch more tutorials at figaro.io